Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for another movie review that I got done checking out. Sorry about that last video I made. I just had to express my concerns about that individual and that he needed help and all that. So pretty much this is for Fool's Paradise that I got done watching with Charlie Day, Adrian Brody, Kate Beckinsale, and I guess another Ray Liotta movie. Uh, that he was in, and Ken Jeong, or Jong, or however you pronounce his name, uh, he was from the Hangover movies, and basically, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this hour and a half movie, an hour and 37 minute movie, and let you know my thoughts on it overall, so let's dive into this movie review, now basically, the premise of the movie is really fucking ridiculous. And it just sounds like something that the writers came up with out of their ass. And just came up with one of the worst fucking scripts and the worst fucking movie of this year. They take a mental uh, patient from a hospital, throw him out into the world of Hollywood, and try to get him to become a star, Charlie Day's character, where he plays the silent treatment. And... Uh, for the longest time, and honestly, this movie just shows how much of fucking assholes these people that wrote the script are, and Hollywood's just coming up with something out of their ass in this one. This movie is garbage. It, it just is very demeaning, and it's just wrong to make a movie like this about mental health patients. And coming up with the story. This was one of the worst films I have seen so far this year. Um, would I say it's the worst film? Pretty much. It, it, it's pretty bad. Um, I mean, the performances are solid. But the movie itself is bad. It just takes a certain topic. And they just basically shit on this movie. So much against mental health uh, patients and all that. And people that just got out of the hospital and all that for what they were dealing with. So it's pretty fucked up to make a movie like this. And to the people that wrote it, fuck you very much. Because that's pretty fucking uh, mean on your part. It's pretty douchey on your part. Because there are people that struggle with mental health and have been out of a, a psychiatric ward or whatever because of this shit and you have to make a movie about this fuck you very much so overall in my opinion i think fool's paradise is just the worst fucking film this year i didn't think i'd see the worst film this year and this is one of them so for an overall score for me i'm giving fool's paradise a 0 0.5 out of 10 fuck this movie big time I really hated it, and the story is just so mean. It's just so demeaning, and it's just... They came up with it out of their ass, and whoever wrote the script... And I know there's a writer's strike going on, because people aren't... The writers are not getting paid enough to make new movies, and they're trying to let AI take over, honestly... Fuck Hollywood nowadays, because they're letting AI robots write fucking scripts. How fucking dumb is that? They're letting the computer systems write the scripts for movies now. It's pretty fucking stupid, and we're relying on technology way too much. And it, it's fine to have some technology, but when you rely on it way too much to make a fucking movie or whatever, you gotta slow your roll, Hollywood. Honestly, you gotta just slow it down a bit and not try those things. So with that being said, 0 0.5 out of 10 for Fool's Paradise. One of the worst films this year. Probably could be worst movie of the year. Who knows? But with that being said, hated this movie and thank you guys for watching.